needs to be brought to the attention of the nation. And it has to do with the conduct of the Electoral Commission of Ghana. Before I go on to the main issue, I like all of us to refresh our memories about um, what has happened relating to the Electoral Commission's preparation for uh, the December 7 elections in the past three months. You recall that after the limited registration, we proceeded to do exhibition of the voters register, during which the NDC Eagle Eyes detected that there were things that have happened to the register out of the accepted norms. And we believe that those things are so fundamental that the exhibition that had happened couldn't have addressed them. So we brought them to the notice of the commission and gave a one week ultimatum while we were filing our nomination for a presidential candidate and parliamentary candidates. And we followed up on our threats and embarked on a massive nationwide demonstration. Indeed, we were joined by many, many, many ordinary persons who were not, strictly speaking, NDC members, but who were very interested in the Commission organizing free, fair elections to enable the nation to exercise a fundamental right of self-determination, that is to choose our own leaders and, and then to remove leaders we do not like. Immediately after the demonstration, we had calls and invitations from well-meaning Ghanaians across board, uh, civil society organizations and um, our development partners culminating in um, a well-televised special IPAC meeting which was attended by all our development partners, civil society organizations, and many, many other um, persons and organizations that were interested in Ghana's democracy. Upon our insistence, the proceedings were telecast live and beamed across all social media handles for everybody in the world who cared about Ghana to follow. You will remember that three out of the five main issues raised by the National Democratic Congress were admitted by the Electoral Commission and they promised to effect the necessary changes that will make everybody comfortable with the register will be going into the elections with. Some of the issues that the Electoral Commission admitted to was the fact that transfers had been made wrongly to which transfers are normally made upon the request of the voter to transfer their vote to another location because of their change in location from the time they were registered so that they could exercise their franchise on the voting day. During the exhibition, it was found out that certain voters were transferred against their wishes without they having put in any request from one region to another region. And you all remember the Tamale South uh, constituency issue where certain uh, voters were trans uh, transferred and blocked 
to Pusiga. This issue was raised and it was admitted to by the Electoral Commission. The Commission also accepted the existence of vulnerabilities in their IT system that made it possible for district officers to effect such transfers without uh, having been asked to do so by headquarters. We did not believe that, and we still do not believe that that was possible. But going by, by what they themselves have admitted to, we then proceeded to make the argument that if it is possible for any district officer to effect changes in the location of voters in their current system, then it made the register worse and less credible because then now you are not talking about electoral commission headquarters alone but you are talking about every district officer having the ability to exploit vulnerabilities in their system to make those illegal and unauthorized transfers and so we insisted that we could correct the transfers, all right, as they promised to do, but we must identify those vulnerabilities, remove them, and make sure that they cannot recur. And that, and that only is the basis of us having confidence in the uh, voters' register. Because if the vulnerabilities existed, and then you just deal with the output of people who have exploited the vulnerabilities, leaving the vulnerabilities open. What is the guarantee that they will not be resorted to, even after a clean register has been established? They will not be resorted to, to still manipulate the register at a time which is too close to elections for anybody to be able to do anything about it. So where very, very insistent on the need for the Commission to invite IT experts of all stakeholders, including their own IT experts, so that we run through their system and give ourselves the comfort that those vulnerabilities that have been exploited have indeed been removed. That was the stage of the battle we were until and then we also asked for um, a copy of the register after their so called cleanup because we didn't believe that they could do it themselves, but they promised that they would clean all those things and give us a copy of the register for us to verify. And then there will be some exhibition of the register for everybody, all stakeholders, to be comfortable that the register that will emerge eventually, of which we will be going into election, will be a register that can guarantee free, fair, and credible elections. We got the impression that they were going to release the so-called clean uh, register to us a week after the event. They subsequently wrote to us that they didn't mean one week, but they meant two weeks. And we said, we are fine with that. One week or two weeks, it will happen. But the condition is that it must happen before printing of ballot papers. Because the basis for printing of ballot papers is the voters register because ballot papers are uh, printed and provided to facilitate voting by all registered voters and so before you proceed to print ballot papers you must have a sealed number of voters who are going to participate in the election so once you freeze the register at the point then you can proceed to print ballot papers. 
as things stands now, Electoral Commission by itself does not have a certified register. So, so we have to communicate through you to the nation and the whole world that Electoral Commission in their normal characteristic manner is going back on everything that they have committed to do during that televised IPAC meeting. I actually warn that it has happened before came out to announce a committee of eminent persons who help to intermediate between the parties and the commission. I warn that that was a dangerous idea because electoral commission will be messing up with the reputation of people we can consider as the conscience of the nation. Very credible men of God, intellectuals, faith-based society leaders, civil society organization leadership that before then had been accepted as truthful and credible people. They gathered all of them and traditional leaders and said that these are the people who mediate between the electoral commission and the political parties. One week after that meeting, everything the electoral commission undertook to do in front of these credible men was reversed. And since that meeting, that so-called Committee of Eminent Persons has never met again. And they are walking around the streets of Ghana with their bruised reputations. So, when the Electoral Commission undertook to clean the register, exhibit it for corrections to be made, so we get a finalized register. We took it with a pinch of salt, but we were dealing with public opinion. And so we didn't want to create any impression that we were not giving them the opportunity to correct their mistakes. Ladies and gentlemen, the opportunity that has been given them to correct their mistakes so we move on with our democracy is now being abused. Three days ago, we received a letter from Electoral Commission that is requesting is well dated 9th October 2024. I bring to you, dear sir, I bring to you a requested to report to the director, Electoral Services, on Thursday 10th, that is today, October 2024, at 11 a.m at the Electoral Commission's Corporate Office for a brief orientation before the commencement of the printing. And you ask yourself, where is their so-called finalized provisional register for correction, before certification, before we go into election? You are commencing printing of ballot papers. You are going to print ballot papers based on a draft register. So where does it put the remaining reputation of the Electoral Commission? I've just drawn the attention of all the CSOs, all the labor organizations that showed interest in a clean and credible register that the director of IT and the chairperson of the Electoral Commission who were appealing to Ghanaians to have trust and confidence in them that they will do the right things. Even the uh, conclusions reached at that meeting are now being abused. We take this as a very, very serious occurrence. We have seen written back to them and we hope they will listen and ensure that the basic requirement that we must have a finalized register based upon which the electoral code books 
will be made available for those who don't don't have the balance statistics as well and we are going into printing so we are back at the guesswork with which the Electoral Commission has been approaching their duties. And I don't believe it is guesswork. So a word to the wise is enough. You better go back and operate according to your own rules, your own laws, and your own commitment to put this country at ease. Elections should not be a matter of life and death as if we all came here to rent a country and that someday somehow we will leave and leave the mess to the landlord to clear let them take it from me that we are in together and this is our country we don't have any other country you want to create a mess and run away you will come back to face your mess thank you very much and may god bless our own land Chairman, yes. uh, are you by this um, telling the electoral commission to halt the printing of the ballot papers until they go back to undertake all the commitment they made at the IPAC meeting the last time you met them? That is what they themselves claim they will be doing. So I'm holding them to what they have undertaken to do. The answer is yes. I think you did very well in summary in school. Thank you. <laughs> I was actually expecting an emphatic Any answer question to yes, that sir. question by way of... <laughs> I said they must halt whatever plans they have in printing ballot papers because ballot papers must be printed based on the finalized register and the finalized electoral code books which are, and ballot statistics which are made available to all stakeholders. So we know they don't have anything to hide. Thank you. So what, 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 what action will the NDC take if this, this is not done? This is one of the issues. The others will come and you will see them. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, so thank you very much. Uh, so let's rush back. I don't want to ask question. You are if you want to ask question. Ah, Jerry, you can do a summary in chief.